Local college students are helping NASA collect data by using a high-altitude weather balloon. Seeing that in the air is the culmination of a lot of work between students, uh, faculty, staff, and NASA's funding. It's made an impact. It is a project, uh, part of a national project. Today, students did a test launch ahead of next month's solar eclipse. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Ferrar was there and explains why these launches are crucial for NASA. Tyon is taking the way to the balloon. Tyon, you have it. A helium-filled weather balloon going up in the air. The wind is coming from that direction. These students from UNF and UCF teaming up for the practice launch to help NASA gather some important data. Dustin Leonard is the launch director. It's a huge achievement. There's a lot of time and preparation, money, manpower that goes into this. This is all a part of a national project through NASA to research gravity waves. So gravity waves, we believe, are basically isosceles in the upper atmosphere. And it's far above where our weather actively happens, but we believe it has drastic impacts on the weather here that we live in. So if we can understand more about gravity waves, where they come from, why they happen, we can tell more about the atmospheric layer that we live in. That flight lasts about 15 to 45 minutes just to make sure everything is connected and operating the way it needs to, and the command center can see everything that's happening with that balloon. The preparation for this flight included inflating the balloon, rigging the flight line, and controlling the flight's path. The balloon gives the public a live 360 view of what will happen during a solar eclipse. Jackie Riley is a part of the team from UCF. Just a big win. Um, coming out, you never know what's going to happen. You never know if anything will go wrong. So well, everything went according to plan this time as the team prepares for the real deal on October 14th for the annular solar eclipse where they will launch in Texas. That kind of eclipse is when the moon appears slightly smaller than the sun, so it cannot block the entire disk. So the result of that will look like a ring of fire, and it will be visible in eight states between Oregon and Texas. But this group is proud to be a part of this effort. Uh, everything's important, and everybody is responsible and taking care of their part, and you can trust everybody. So to be a small piece of that is inspirational and has potential impact for all of humanity. Reporting from the University of North Florida, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.